All right, this is my favorite one so far. I'm going to do a pineapple. Uh, it was looks complex, but it was actually pretty simple. Really enjoyed doing it. This is The Art Project. Thanks for watching. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to check out the comments and description down below for um, information. So this is the pineapple that I was drawing. As always, I just drew some guidelines to start with. I am looking at a reference photo of a, a pineapple, and that's how I determined what my guideline should be. Of course, it makes that uh, sort of grid pattern that wraps around the pineapple. Then there's a lot of space in between each of the little, I don't know what you call them, panels uh, on the pineapple. And those that space around it is kind of dark. And so uh, after drawing the grid, I kind of came back and did like a little very loose box inside each uh, of the little squares created by the grid here it is a little bit larger so you can see what I'm talking about very loose grid that wraps around it uh, and then I came back in and I just drew a little loose square inside the grid once I was comfortable with this and the way that it looked I took an eraser and erased a lot of it uh, just kind of lightly so I could still see it but it didn't have an overpowering pencil uh, remember, always draw light to get it right, but in this case, uh, I darkened it up a little too much. So I erased it so that I could get the pencil in there. Each of the little panels is basically a leaf, I think, growing out of the side of the pineapple. And so uh, from the side, you can see it sticking out from the pineapple. But when you're looking at the pineapple, it's just kind of a, a weird triangular look. So here I go back in with my artist pen and I did switch from a sharpie pen to a 08 micron just because it's a little bit thicker and it helped me to cover a little bit more area faster and get the dark around each of these little leaf panels at the bottom of each little grid I kind of did a little U shape kind of scribbled it in remember these are organic plants let it flow it's not uh, a perfect grid it's not a perfect uh, pineapple i don't guess uh, each section has got its own little characteristics so you don't have to break out a ruler or anything like that uh, but you do want to look at your pineapple and make sure you're being somewhat accurate and you're capturing the different parts of it like the leaves that stick out and so on again i did not look at it so intently that everything is photorealistic this is very stylized very simplified uh, I, I think this will make a great uh, part of a repeating pattern like on a Hawaiian shirt which is sort of what I'm teaching in class right now so enjoy drawing pineapples uh, see what you can do I'm gonna do a few more on this page I'm also going to, uh, in this video I'm gonna complete the one at the top I can definitely see using the pineapple as part of the pattern motif that I want to do later on. Let me drag this down so you can see it a little bit better. Right here, there you go. Uh, I just love how each one of these things is just kind of a, a loose little square that fits on top of the one next to it. and beside it and under it leaves sticking out the top they kind of uh what do you call it uh, overlap uh, that's it um go draw yourself a pineapple they're, they're a lot of fun look it up online find an image to kind of go by and then uh, show me your interpretation be sure to tag me in it it's your turn go make some art